Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and interest groups of vocational education and vocational teacher education, as well as teacher education in general. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce you to the latest reforms in vocational education and in teacher education. My name is Seija Mahlamäki Kultanen and I'm working in HAMG. Professional teacher education is organized in five universities of applied sciences in Finland and HAMG hosts two largest teacher education development programs together with the partners. So the other role I'm also having is the vice chair of the National Teacher Education Forum. This is a very interesting approach to teacher education development, uh, appointed by the Minister of Education and Culture, Sanni Gran Lasone. She realized that consensus and cooperation are the key issues in developing any educational innovations and university level teacher education. This is why the Ministry of Education invited all the stakeholders and the universities who provide teacher education to appoint their members suggestions for the ministry and then they decided whom should be taken in. We are all together about 100 people who are representing our universities, but as well we are representing the whole interest of teacher education in our country. Consensus is one of the key words, I could say. One of the first challenges uh, was to develop a common development plan for teacher education, and we concluded six main target areas to be developed. This strategic level document leads our work and connects all the other actions. We were also able to receive funding for projects and that was of course quite a favorable situation to go forward. I could call this like a historical development measure for teacher education throughout the decades. We have never had such a favorable situation in that sense like we have now. At the same time, vocational education has been reformed recently. It has become even more work-based and we have united the forms of vocational education into one model, which is highly in individualized and accredits prior learning to all applicants who want to join vocational education. They can do that whenever they want, so it's a flexible system, it's not dependent on the application periods anymore. Of course, we have certain dates when students can recruit in big, uh, large amounts, but um, if you meet a problem in your career or if you meet an interesting option in any vocational institution, you can apply in a very, very flexible way. All this calls for teacher education reform. Today, in this presentation, I'm going to concentrate uh, for the most time on vocational teacher education. However, I want to remind that this teacher development deals with all types of teacher education and you are free to ask more later because you see the contact details in this video. From me or from the other chair, the main chair, Jari Lavonen from the University of Helsinki. So I start with the 
some small tools. This one is a package filled with the support for the reform for vocational education. And it symbolizes how the National Board of Education is involved and how it has been like campaigning to support the teachers. They really need the support because we have had at the same time also due to economical reasons and due to the diminishing number of young um, children and youth in our country, lack of, uh, excuse me, cuts of resources. And it's of course quite complicated to reform at the same time. But we do our best and we cannot um, uh, avoid the necessities of the economies globally. Opeke is a Finnish abbreviation, it's not the real word, it's an abbreviation. Ope means a teacher, it's a nickname and it's used by all people nowadays, not only young people. It's, it has a very nice uh, meaning. Ope is near, it's close to you and ki a means kehittäminen, development. So we are developing teacher education in OPEC project. It's good to remember that in Finland, quite exceptionally, vocational teachers are highly appreciated. According to a very recent survey about public's opinions, it was the ninth in rank when you think about the appreciation of different jobs and professions. Um, some doctors were over it, medical professions, they, they ranked above, but the ninth is quite, quite well done. But however, we need to work to keep that appreciation and to support the teachers who need to develop so quickly their ways of working. And this is why, together with all the five other universities of applied sciences and the University of Arts, we decided to apply for a huge project together to make it effective, to make it nationwide and holistic for all the possible candidates around Finland. And we succeeded, we got the biggest development project. Now we have been operating a little bit more than one year. So we can really say something about the results and what kind of conclusions can we draw to go forward. OPEC is divided into five sub-projects. The first of them deals with how the people become interested and how they would become even more interested in applying um, to be vocational teachers, how they choose this profession. In our country, according to the legislation, they need first to have some kind of a master or bachelor degree in their own field of interest. They have to be engineers, nurses, uh, bachelors or masters in uh, business, etc. Then they need to have at least three years of work experience as a general rule. Uh, there are certain details in very narrow areas where we don't have the bachelor level education, but the main rule is that you have to have a degree and then at least three years of work experience. In practice, very many people, they have more than three years of experience in the world of work. And I think it's a very good thing, because then you have seen how things are in the world of work. And also, you are having experience from life in general. So you are able to meet very different targets group, young people, adults, immigrants, people with special needs, people who have in, changed their own motivation and interest. 
the target group of vocational education in our country is extremely diverse nowadays. So it's very good to have life experience. And what was interesting according to the surveys we did in OPEKE, the, uh, collecting data from the, our applicants and people who already study in our uh, universities to become vocational teachers or to become study counselors or to become special needs teachers, uh, they show very interesting trends. One of them is that many people nowadays see the importance of learning in the world of work, not only in schools, but also in workplaces. And they know that vocational education is organized in cooperation between business enterprises and vocational institutions. So there are quite many who want to become vocational teachers in that kind of a networked uh, position and even some of them are not sure whether they want to do this in an enterprise or to work in a vocational institution or a university of applied sciences. Both parties need pedagogical competencies and understanding. When we asked uh, the motivation to become a special needs teacher Quite many of the respondents said that they need that skill in everyday duties. It's not only that you need to become special needs teacher in a specialized position, but you need this understanding to meet the diversity of students anyhow. And this is why we need to also take very well into account the diversity of learners in the basic pedagogical qualification we are giving to all of our students, teacher students, I mean. Then when we go to the study counselors' education, quite many of the respondents said that they, they want to have this special qualification to really become study counselors. We have these in vocational education in universities of applied sciences and nowadays more and more also in universities. Careers of people are becoming very complicated. They are like a mosaic and they need to be constructed along the way, starting from the graduation and lasting until the last years of your career before you get um, retired. It's not anymore that you choose one profession and then you continue throughout your life and career. And this needs special competencies and understanding of the world of work, uh, study options and of course about human beings and their life motivations and interests. This was the first part of the OPEC project. Then the other one, when we think about the changing world of work and teachers' work in pedagogical positions, is to restructure the pedagogical models, how we organize teacher education. It cannot anymore be lecturing, it cannot anymore be organizing a course in a university. Of course, for a long, long time we have had, had training and we have had quite varied pedagogical models, also very much based on learning in the world of vocational institutions and with the support of mobile and e-learning. But what we have now decided to pilot is going even more to the world of work of teachers. Learning even in workplaces to become a teacher and supporting the team and network formation in the world of work 
together with the representatives of vocational institutions. And the pilots, they are now going on, they have just started. Uh, teacher students have been chosen and we will see the results about their motivations, about their learning next spring. And then we can tell more about how it went. But the first impressions, they are very promising. And, and although the learning environment is extremely open for them, it's also the realities what they will be facing when they will graduate. So I think it is a challenge, but still it's the challenge to be taken. So we, we go forward. If this kind of teacher education is the future, of course the teacher trainers need to possess new types of skills. And the third sub-project of OPEGE is developing the common competence targets for teacher educators who work in the universities of applied sciences and need to organize new types of teacher education programs. We have had workshops together with teacher education sorry, teacher educators, as well the stakeholders, to iterate the competence um, frame of reference, which would be common for all the five universities of applied sciences, like a reference for us all. And that is now under the um, iteration, the last phases of it, and based on that, we will also develop models how to develop the competencies the teacher educators, educators need, what kind of processes they can be so that they can really be ahead of development and not only following it. Then the third uh, part of, of the teacher education uh, development would be the strategies, common strategies for the curriculum, what we can have. And this kind of development um, needs to be done together because all us five, we have a lot in common, but also we are serving quite different areas in Finland. Um, if I think about the remote Lapland, very scarce population, or if I think about Helsinki urban area, where one-fifth of our population is situated only 20 kilometers from the um, midpoint of Helsinki. So they are really different areas and we might need something different in, in these university situating in, in them both. So I go to the last OPEC sub-project, which is about the carry-along development of teachers' competencies. And in here we once again meet the diversity of our small country. Only five million people, but still the diversity of regions and vocational institutions as well as universities of applied sciences is, is huge. In some areas, very big vocational institutions have come together and they have also joined with upper secondary general education and uh, adult education and also they have joined with community colleges so that these institutions might host more than 10,000 students. And then we have institutions where the amount of students might be 400 or even less. Because we really need to be there for every young and adult student in our country, so diverse. And this is why we cannot offer one model to the teacher development throughout the career. 
we need very flexible models for students, teacher students working in the world of work who cannot travel to distant courses but need to have it on their own desktop. So this kind of um, project, the um, whole picture of Opeke is now one of my main interests and also a very hot topic in the discussions all over the teacher education interest groups. Today I cannot tell you more about another as big and large teacher education development project which is called in Finnish Oppian Oikeus Opettajan Taito. It means um, translated into English the right of the student I translate freely needs to be the skill and competencies of the teacher. The name was formed because quite recently all the students in secondary level education both in general upper secondary and in vocational got the right for special needs support. This is new especially in the field of general education and it's a huge challenge to develop packages to learn for all subject teachers who are now working in upper secondary general. We know that in our country where half of basic education graduates go to the upper secondary general and the other half go, goes to the vocational education. The diversity of students in both is great. It's really, really huge. And there are students in need of support for special needs in both roads, both channels or ways of learning. Um, to become either graduates in high schools or in vocational education. And our network now needs to be comprised from both universities of applied sciences as well as universities. The University of Helsinki is uh, dealing and managing the university network and HAMC is managing both the universities of applied sciences as well the whole project because it needs to have a, an umbrella administration and we are just starting this project so I hope you are staying in this channel looking forward to tell you more about that project too when it has uh, an established English name and the first preliminary results coming so feel free to contact ask more the project managers in Opeke they are she's called Anu Raudasoja and the project manager in Oppian Oikeus Opettajan Taito is called Simo Uusinoka and they, they will be glad and happy to tell you more so let's go uh, and go to the future by this developmental attitude. Have a nice day. Thank you for your interest.